Hey guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and I'm going to be talking about the series finale of Shane Dawson's uh, docuseries on Jeffree Star and the beauty industry, the beautiful world of Jeffree Star. Now, <laughs> this was supposed to be a video where I unbox the palette and show you and a couple of other items that I got, and then I tuned into the finale last night with my sister and a friend. And we're sitting there, we had like girly drinks, we had bellies full of pizza. And I must have looked away for a second because it was the friend who was like, oh my God, that was Michelle, go back, that was Michelle. And my sister's freaking out going, Michelle, you're in the video. <laughs> so we had to go back and it took us a heck of a long time to find it because it's a quick little snippet, but we found it. Shane Dawson found one of my videos, I don't know how that happened, and actually put it in the series finale. So obviously, if you guys know Shane Dawson, you know how lovable he is. I love Jeffree Star as well. And if any of you have some problem with that or some question about that, you can leave your comments down below. But I have a very specific reason why I connect to these two and it has a lot to do with finding your authentic self and being free to express that authentic self and finding your way back to self-worth when you have been knocked down so many times. So you can have your opinion. It's all positivity here, and that's what we're doing, okay? So yes, Shane put me in the series finale, just a quick little thing, and just the fact that I got to be a little bit of a part of that, number one, stunned me. <laughs> stunned me. I seriously thought I was losing my mind. I had to go back and look. I'm like, no, was that me? Was it? Was that me? I don't know. So that was a wonderful honor. Thank you, Shane Dawson, honey. I love you so much. I am so impressed with what you have done here. Jeffrey, I'm also impressed with how you have completely revolutionized the entire makeup industry. I mean, I could go on and on about all the cool stuff that I think you guys are doing. But Shane, if you see this, <laughs> I'm assuming you're the one that put that clip in there. Thank you. Just being a part of this, uh, it really meant a lot to me. It was really wonderful to watch you go through the process of creating a palette and, you know, stepping out of the norm. And I don't think that that's what people really are catching on to with this docu-series. Shane Dawson stepped out of the norm, had to go learn this stuff from scratch, and of course he has, you know, Jeffrey to guide him, but to accomplish this level of success, that's really inspiring. It's incredibly inspiring, and it gave us all something to connect over. Of course, there were the haters and whatever, they're doing their thing, but for the most part, a lot of us, if you're into this and you feel like you're a part of it, it feels like we were one big happy family all getting excited about one thing and I'm a spiritual channel so I'm all about finding joy in life and raising your frequency and staying in that space right so yeah I was shocked I was right on this couch last night that I saw it so I'm getting your emails guys I'm seeing your comments thank you so much for that you guys were really excited for me which was really cool so I just want to talk about that but let's get into this unboxing Okay, sorry. ASMR for your life. Here you go. <laughs> so I have a story behind this. If you haven't checked out my uh, other video, actually the clip that was in uh, the Shane Dawson series, then I will link that down below. I'm going to be editing on my phone, which I don't do a whole lot of, so we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> so anyway, it'll be linked in here somewhere. But I was talking about what a fiasco it was, you know this by now, uh, to get this palette or any of the products. They're sold out until 2020. I believe in the uh, series last night, they were saying like uh, restock in March of 2020 or something like that. So, <sighs> Beautylish. I was on Beautylish because that was the only site I could kind of dip into and, and get some things to stick. If you watched my previous video, I was pretty like, hey, <laughs> get your hands off my stuff because stuff was going out of my car. I originally was told by Beautylish that the products would only take, I think, four to five days to get to me. I was getting ready to travel. And then when I was shopping, it said it was going to take 14 days to just process. So I was like, okay, I better have this sent to where I'm going, which is what I did. And then it came in four to five days. <laughs> so it's been sitting at my parents' house. I, you know, I'm here in Ohio. I was sitting in my, at my parents' house and I could not wait to come home and open it. So I opened the box. There's a mirror, which I'm going to show you. There was a makeup bag, which I'm gonna show you. There was a cute little sample of like some face toner. Thank you, Beautylish. I love you guys, I really do. Uh, no palette. There was no palette. <laughs> you know I 
was about ready to fall on the floor and just kick and scream like a three-year-old because I was like, where's my palette? <laughs> like, why? Why? And I actually, I reached out to Beautylish and I was like, I was uh, very focused. I wouldn't say that I was like angry. I was just like, you need to fix it now. Now. Because this thing is sold out. If it wasn't in my box, does that mean you don't have palettes now? You know, I wanted to get this up on my channel. So, uh, Jasmine, I think that's how you say your name, honey. If that's not correct, please forgive me. Jasmine over at Beautylish got on it. She took care of it. And she said, well, you know, if it wasn't packed in the box, then we still have it somewhere. It's going to be back there. And sure enough, I had to wait another, I think it took another four days to get to me. But here it is, the, the outside carton. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think it's going to pick up on the camera because it's kind of reflective. But um, it, the box, the outer box is a little banged up. Uh, which because I'm trying to collect this, I was a little like, I really want, you can't guarantee that though when it's shipping and stuff. I get it, but it was kind of like really, it had to come banged up too. The palette is gorgeous. Then I started thinking about it, I'm like, well, I'm going to be dipping into the palette. So calm down. <laughs> I got it and a lot of people didn't. So here is the gorgeous, <laughs> enough of that. So anyway, Jasmine, honey, thank you over at Beautylish. Thank you for getting on this and thank you for getting this to me. Uh, and let's get into it here. So I'm not going to swatch at this point. I am so late to everything. Everybody else has gotten their stuff. So you've seen a swatch. Uh, I, I want to get into this a little bit though. So here is the packaging. It's the, <laughs> it's the conspiracy palette that everybody has been wanting. It slides out of like a sleeve. Okay. Let me put this over here so this doesn't get banged up. And here is this gorgeous, gorgeous palette who everybody I've shown to, I'm not going to take the plastic off because I have to still travel on a plane with this. So I want to keep everything kind of intact as best as I can. So here it is there. It's kind of like this beveled case. It's a trunk style. It has these amazing clasps here. Please don't pay attention to my nails. I had fake nails on. I'm trying to give my nails a breather. So <laughs> they're a little tore up right now. Oh, you guys, are you guys ready? So you guys, if you've watched the series, you know what the palette looks like basically. And I'm going to talk about this basic like pyramid missing its capstone. We're going to talk more about that. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can hide the mirror at all. I'm going to put it to this. I can't hide the mirror. Okay. So, uh, there is the palette. I'm trying to get the, there we go. So there are the colors. It looks amazing. The stamps are super adorable. Please forgive me guys. I'm just trying to make do here with what I have. So there they are, there are the beautiful stamps. And I think in using this, I'm actually going to try to just dip my brush into the corners <laughs> to try to preserve the stamps. I never go through an eye palette uh, and this is just something I'm gonna keep forever. And it will be one of those things that I open up when you know I'm 80 years old and I still haven't be like, oh, remember when kind of thing. Remember how crazy we were? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone went nuts for Shane and Jeffrey, right? Um, and we'll see if that works. I'll report back. If I can wear down the corners instead of the stamp, all the better. But this is such, oh God, it, it's such good quality. Um, again, I'm just seeing here. Nope, nope, nope. That was just powder. Okay, I was like, what in the heck is on the side? <laughs> there was something right there. It was just a little bit of shadow. It's fine. But it's absolutely extraordinary. This is so beautiful. Really great quality and a really extraordinary design. Now, there are actual conspiracy, I don't want to call them conspiracy theorists. That's not fair, I don't think. So you have the people who are kind of conspiracy theorists, but then you have others who are just trying to bring some truth out. Anyway, there are a lot of those people out there that you can consult with and get their take on what the pyramid symbolizes and what it means for it to be missing its capstone. Uh, it gets into numerology. It gets into, you know, some people have theories around what that means for humanity, <laughs> who has the capstone. Again, that's not really my area of expertise. So I don't want to sit here and try to just regurgitate uh, information that I haven't, you know, really extensively researched for myself, but just from an intuitive, <laughs> <laughs> standpoint is Michelle really doing a reading on a palette I don't mean to um but I I think it needs to be talked about so the way I feel about it is a pyramid is an energy generator so you know that's why it has the shape that it does and uh, people are healed within pyramids and when it's missing its capstone it's the feeling I'm getting is that it's missing it basically shuts down the generator 
okay? So whoever owns the capstone, so to speak, um, kind of has the power because they decide when the generator is complete. So it's kind of interesting that this came out when I saw this <laughs> in the series and it was, you know, I, I think that was probably more for function because you don't want a, a point. I literally had a pyramid when I was a kid that had makeup in it. Yeah, it was a, an Egyptian pyramid and the doors, or I guess there were some doors and then a drawer that would come out and there were all these shadows and blushes and stuff like that. And it was the most inconvenient thing to have around because it had a stinking point <laughs> on it. So when I saw this come out, I was like, okay, I get it. Uh, but I just think it's very interesting for interesting times. Um, you know what I mean? I don't want to make it about that, <laughs> but I'd be curious to see if a capstone kind of completes this out. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just kind of wanted to bring that up that it was missing its capstone. I was like, kind of raised an eyebrow. I was like, oh, do you know some of the stuff that they say about that? <laughs> so it's not at full power, which is interesting, right? So that's just a, a silly little aside I wanted to put in there. So here's the palette. I am so excited. No, I did not use it on my eyes today because I don't know. I it, It's going to be very ceremonial. <laughs> Michelle, you're ridiculous. I never said I was a non-ridiculous human being. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it like that. My sister is doing construction on her home, so I'm trying not to get <laughs> things in the mirror. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be very ceremonial when I dip into this. And if you, and I've had people like leaving comments and stuff going, it's just makeup, you know, what's wrong with you? I've even taken a few hits for even talking about this. But such is the internet. And so, moving on, right? <laughs> I got this little guy all like, wrapped up and ready to go on the plane with me and nobody's taking it from my hands <laughs> it will not happen and even if like the airline tried me for whatever reason i don't know why they would but if they tried me i'd be like really it's the shane dawson jeffrey star palette you know what i had to go there to get it i'm sure they'll know exactly what i'm talking about and maybe they will have some empathy right i had to wait for the heater to kick off it's really loud <laughs> it's my sister's house i don't know how things work around here and i can't close this window blind because it's all tied up but um again it's not my house i don't know how it works so sorry for the funky lighting if it's starting to get funky <laughs> but anyway here is the pig mirror that i was able to get now this was in the original box which i opened and i was like yay oh my god and that's when i discovered that the palette wasn't in there and i was like no <laughs> you're killing me I can't I can't live like this anyway this is adorable and what's so funny is I I showed my nephew Zayden he's four and he goes it's a dead pig like he immediately knew that it was a dead pig and I was like why do you know that I don't understand so anyway there it is it's really big I feel like I'm repeating what everybody else has already told you again sorry I'm late to the game but here we are and it's nice hard plastic I'm starting to collect these guys now, I think. And it's just amazing. Come on, you gotta have one of these. So there is the the dead pig again. And then of course, this lighting, excuse me. And then we have these little guys over here. And again, just like everybody else has been saying, super high quality. It's got a nice zipper thing up here, which gives you even more room to store things. Um, I would say the mini palette, the mini controversy would probably fit up here. I don't have one, so I, don't, I can't really test that for you, but definitely you can put your brushes up here. Um, I like to put my things that would roll around in the bottom of a bag. So lip liners, eyeliners, lipsticks. Uh, I, I usually like to have those in a side pocket just to keep them steadier. This, there's little pockets inside here as well. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. So right in there. and. A ton of room I mean there's no question <laughs> ton of room and yeah the the little stamps all over it are like what is this called is this called embossing <laughs> I don't know but it's like the the pig emblem all over it so I am so happy I was able to get at least a few products and I even got to have my big face in the finale can you believe I, I still can't believe I was like was that my face I don't <laughs> what's going on here uh so anyway again a huge shout out to shane dawson honey thank you so much for that you you made my day definitely you freaked out my sister and that was funny again we had bellies full of pizza and girly drinks so we were like hey <laughs> what's going on so i really appreciate it jeffree star much love to you as well and to everybody who was involved with this congratulations sending everyone so much love and take care